Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, guys, we do have some serious information coming to us right now. There's been an explosion in Wichita, Kansas. More than a dozen people have been injured today when a nitrogen line ruptured at a Beechcraft aircraft manufacturing facility in Wichita, Kansas, causing part of the building to collapse. Authorities uh, are telling us Daniel Wagner, deputy fire chief, they're saying the explosion happened this morning and it has caused at least 11 people in the hospital and, uh, and two more uh, injured. So it's 13 people in all, 11 of them are hospitalized. Nobody has been killed, thank God. Dangerous situation there in Wichita. Also, a massive snowstorm blizzard condition has hit Lebanon in the Middle East. Uh, this heavy storm of rain and then snow started coming down. It hit Lebanon, causing great damage to roads and properties in the capital city of Beirut, Lebanon, and other regions of the country. The national news agency is reporting today that during the storm, two people have been killed, another person injured, Car crashes, roads are being wiped out and washed out. Snow is still falling, heavy rain and snow mixed. A really convoluted situation there. I know the weather's been weird. I mean, yesterday here, a day after Christmas, 65 degrees, northern Indiana. Today, 40. More like, more like December, but even that's even mild. Uh, it's crazy. Oh, by the way, also, the U.S. Coast Guard is reporting they are searching for a helicopter in Hawaii that uh, has gone missing off the radar screen. Can't find it. Seven people on board. The chopper was a tour of the coast of Northwestern Islands uh, where the weather conditions were said to be challenging. But the helicopter was carrying a pilot and six uh, passengers, uh, two of whom were believed to be minors. A statement from the Coast Guard said that the... Uh, a boat and a helicopter were sent to the scour the area. They've been looking and looking and looking. There's been no sign of a crash or nobody to be found. We're still waiting. Seven souls hanging in the balance. And then there's Turkey, where a cargo ship collided into the coast of Istanbul, Turkey today, forcing Turkish officials to temporarily suspend traffic through the Bosphorus Strait because of this boat collision running aground there in Istanbul. But wait, there's more. A fire raging in Russia. Two people are dead. Six more are severely burned as a fire broke loose in a hotel in Siberia. Uh, officials still trying to understand what caused that. And then in Switzerland, we have an avalanche. That's right. Two people are, are, have been injured. Police fear others may be buried in the snow and expected to be dead as the avalanche, the avalanche swept across a ski trail near the Swiss town of Adermalt, excuse me, Adermat, Adermat. Uh, the avalanche occurred uh, and they still can't find many missing in the um, avalanche. And that could mean they could be dead. Also, two people have died in a long distance Georgia-bound bus rollover in Russia. Uh, this happened. The emergency services are reporting that everybody is dead. Uh, there were um, all of the dead, excuse me, and injured were citizens of Georgia. Uh, we know that two of them are dead and nine people are injured as this bus rolled off the mountain. A, tr a horrible scene in um Georgia, the country of Georgia in Europe. And we have an airplane, a, Kash a Kazakhstan plane with 100 people on board has crashed shortly after takeoff early this morning, killing at least 14 people and 35 others have survived with injuries. But uh, officials say that the aircraft hit a concrete fence and a two-story building just after takeoff from the Almaty International Airport. It said that the plane lost altitude and then came down, hit the fence, hit the two-story building, 
and crashed. Again, 100 people were on board. 14 are confirmed dead. 35 others have survived with injuries. But what about the rest of the people? It's unknown what, and I guess the we're not they're not done with the wreckage okay so i don't know what that means and that doesn't sound good so that's a horrible scene and then 27 tourists traveling in a private bus had a narrow escape in india after the vehicle collided with a coal laden truck on national highway 55 uh, at least 15 tourists were injured in the collision according to sources the mishap occurred uh, when the tourist bus carrying 27 people was heading toward Bubishwar, where I was at 18 months ago, the city, and I can tell you, I've been on that road, the National Highway 55. It is too narrow. There's tons of traffic and scooters and motorcycles and big trucks and buses with people on top and hanging out the sides. And I'm in this thing. You're already driving on the wrong side of the road as far as I'm concerned. And, and the, everybody's running. The, everybody's laying on the horns. And I'm just sitting in the back seat of this car saying, dear Jesus, protect us. Well, this is where it happened. And uh, it's a horrible scene, guys, a horrible scene outside of Bubishwar. Uh, they're on National Highway 55, okay? Uh, the driver lost control of the wheels. And a lot of times they got too many people on these buses. I mean, who knows how many, but uh, 27 people were on the bus. But how many was this thing supposed to hold? It might have been a 15-passenger. Could have been, a, you, know, you know what I'm saying? They always got people hanging on the sides or, or riding on top. It's just unreal. Anyway, that's going on. And... Um, and, and the story just goes on and on and on, guys. I mean, these are just some of the tragic situations we got here. But we got snowstorms. We got blizzard avalanches. We got plane crashes, helicopter crashes, bus crashes, boats cr crashing into the waters. I mean, are you serious? Uh, it's just one thing after another, a world spinning out of control uh, in need of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and it's chaos and, and calamities in the Christmas season. But this is the time we're living in. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Are you saved? We don't have no promise for tomorrow. The Bible tells us that. So today is promised to you, but not tomorrow. You got to be sure, no matter what you're doing in life, you never know what's going to happen next. Are you saved? Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.